at 6 30 we have a quorum we'll call the planning board meeting to order and first up for general information mr dwyer okay uh mr Iser was first off the block okay well, thank you so much. Um, I submitted an ANR plan to you and Mr. Maximowski on Friday afternoon at 19 Roosevelt Street. It's something that we had, you guys had seen a plan before. It's the property where there was a legal lot and a not enough frontage for a second lot. And they were attempting to get some land from a neighbor who was a family member and since that last plan got signed and it did not get recorded, they have been able to work out a deal with the abutter to get the necessary 4.72 feet of frontage or whatever it is that they need. So uh, hopefully Mr. Dwyer can put the plan on the screen um, and I can show you what I'm talking about. And Mr. Twyer just shared it this afternoon. Okay, so there's the plan. So the last iteration of this had uh, a legal lot where the house and the garage were. And then the lot to the left of that was, it did not have adequate frontage. So it was labeled a parcel, whatever, I can't remember, and not a buildable lot. So as I said, the owners have been able to work something out with the abutter to the north to get the 4.28 feet of frontage they need to have two 175 foot of frontage lots. The 150 foot box fits in both. There's more than enough area to satisfy the zoning. Uh, and the, the, what I have labeled as lot number two, you, if you look at that, you'll see there's two separate frontages, 170.72 plus the 4.28, which will be part of that parcel A, which is to be combined with the adjoining land to form the one undivided parcel. And I have a note on that lot that says 175 feet total frontage. Yep. Yeah. So. So which way was the, uh, the uh, well, I guess the way they acquire the land from the neighbors because the garage is right on the line is. Yeah, so that is pre-existing, Joe. And there, there's nothing we can do about that. But and we're not, if I, was, if I was acquiring land up there, I would ask that they try to make it a little bit farther away, but they're not willing to do that. They just want to give up the, the frontage. So they were willing to give up the frontage, and, but uh, the pre-existing non-conforming use was not part of the negotiation. Correct. Okay. Like the shed and the garage are on the Yeah, way. they're very close, both of them. Okay. Any other discussion on it? I'm good with that. Yeah. When you put this forward, Randy, I think I said, I thought I just signed this a couple of, about two weeks ago. That's why I hope you have to front it. Then I'll make them two legal lots. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hearing no discussion here, entertain a motion to approve. So I'll make a motion to approve it. Second. Right off in the ANR. Second. Sounds like someone's cleaning their grill. We got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstain. Motion passes 4 0 with one abstention. You're abstaining, Bill? Yes, I'm abstaining. Okay. And Bill abstains. Okay. That's all I have for that. I'm going to hang around for the uh, town meeting articles. Okay. Thank you, Randy. Hey, thank you, Randy. I, I like your welcome. Your magenta ink on your stamp. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Harry Auerbach is next. Want to take the plan off, Bill? Oh, yep. Uh, Harry Auerbach with Agnoli Sign, um, 732. 
uh, Worthington Street in Springfield. I'm here on behalf of uh, the owner of uh, Friendlies at 455 Russell Street. And uh, we did submit a plan. Um, I, I guess, Mr. Dwyer, if you could help me out. Um, yeah, it came in, in, in several parts here. So okay. um, uh, let me see what I can pull up. As Mr. Dwyer does that, um, what, what has happened is the, the pylon sign that was existing um, has fallen over and has been damaged beyond repair. So it has to be replaced. And what we're proposing is um, we can't use the existing foundation, so we're moving it back towards uh, towards the not towards the building, but back away from Route Nine, approximately five feet. And because uh, because we can't use the existing foundation, that's why I'm here today to the planning board to um, you know review the proposal and uh, you know allow us to to move that sign, if you will. The sign is the same size as it was, basically 80 by 80, 80 inches by 80 inches, double-sided, illuminated. Um, it will be illuminated with LEDs. Um, new pole, new cabinet, new foundation. All right. Bear with me for a minute here. This is opening sure. different programs. Okay, I think I have everything sorted out. Uh, let's see if I can open multiples here. Used to be a Mr. Auerbach that worked at WFCR. Uh, <laughs> I, I haven't met him. Not, not, okay. You know, I'm sure we're related somehow. Yeah. I, I, the question I normally get asked is, uh, "Am I related to Red?" But, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I actually I met him once, and um, this was at an exhibition game at the uh, Coliseum in West Springfield. My I don't think I was five years old. My father said, <laughs> "Go introduce yourself." It was halftime. So I went up to him and I said, my name is Harry Auerbach. And he looked at me and he goes, so? <laughs> so kind of kind of ruined me for uh, going yeah. to meet a celebrity. It's Since not a, it's not a paternity suit. I was just saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> not a paternity, but, um, you know, he, he was busy. I'll give him that. <laughs> Didn't need some little little kid like out of the blue. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm having trouble bringing up the pictures, but I did send them all around. I'll, I'll try again, uh, but let's yeah. take a look at, this is the basic sign. This is, this is exactly, yeah, it's the basic sign. Um, the graphics have changed because Friendly's graphics have changed. Um, uh, it used to say breakfast, lunch, dinner. Now it's lunch, dinner, takeout because of COVID. They've kind of changed their, their offerings, if you will. Um, exact same, everything's the same, except for, again, we're asking for permission to move it away from Route 9, uh, just because we want to stay away from the foundation. And, and I'm saying approximately five feet, only because, you know, dig safe will, will kind of ultimately prevail as to where we, where we need to be. But um, I, I, I think it's high enough that it shouldn't uh, block any lines of sight. Correct. It, 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 it was 118 inches previously and it's going to be 118 again is this internal or external illumination this is internal it uh as it was previously what are you thinking jim pre-existing not conforming use now that it's changed its location it's uh no longer has that uh, moniker? Yeah, it's it's a real gray area there. I mean, you could you could make an argument either way on it. Uh, yeah, yes. I think by the fact that it was blown over. Yeah, I mean, it, it, if they had taken it down and tried to move it to a different spot, I would say it's got to be external illumination. But it, it wasn't their fault that it came down. It was, an, if you want, an act of nature for lack of any other comment, and. 
you know, maybe it's not so bad. It's not, it's not a huge sign either. It's, 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 it's less than 64 square feet. Yeah, actually about 44 at least points. Conforming. Yeah. Um, and I'm assuming the illumination level from within would be about the same. It's not going to light up the town of Amherst next door. It will not. No, these LEDs are, you know, and it not only will it not light up, you know, more, um, you know, the, the Lexan, the plastic diffuses the light. It's just a more efficient way of illuminating versus fluorescent bulbs. What used to be, well, it's like a 24, 24 watt versus 120. Yeah, I mean, the sign is only 44 square feet, Joe, smidge, smidge over. So yeah. it fits, it's considerably under what, what is allowed. I agree. Okay. Who was who moved it? Joe. Oh, Joe. Okay. Do we have a second? I'd second it. Any other discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Gentlemen, thank you very much. I, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Okay, get that out of there. Uh, Andrew Gnatic was next. He's he's kind of here as an observer. Well, since uh, oh, Rob B would be next. I'll explain it to Andrew in a minute. Okay, Rob B. Then I've got nothing right now. I'm just listening for the town meeting. Oh, okay. The uh, Housing Production Plan Committee. Mark Dunn was the original. Uh, volunteered for it. He's found out he doesn't have time for it. Mike Sarzinski was going to be on it, but he said that he really doesn't have the interest to be on it. That leaves Billard, uh, Joe as the other alternates. I know Bill has got on plenty of committees, so he probably has no time for this one. I'm not sure Joe is interested in being on this committee. <coughs> either. Do we have to have a member? It, we were no, looking for two. No, we do not have. We need. We need a fifth member, but it doesn't have to be one of us. If it's not going to be one of us, we could appoint a, a member at large. If we wanted to, so be one planning board, one what? senior, one senior housing, two from the housing and economic, and one member, one general member of the town public. How often do they meet? It'll be twice a month, um, probably on Wednesdays. Um, from now till the end of the year. I had the interest. I just didn't have the bandwidth. Right. And um, I talked to the town clerk today. You know, we could certainly appoint a member of the, of the we'll call them at large. And, but we just can't appoint somebody. We actually got to advertise on our program right here. If anybody that's interested, get, in, get their name to the planning at hadleyma.org. And then we can decide at our next meeting who it would be. Andrew Gnatic has expressed an interest to be on this committee, and that's why he's here tonight. So we're going to think about it, and I can think about it for one more meeting. No, we don't have time. You got to make the decision. To we're gonna, we got to we got to make a decision that either you're going to be the member or somebody at large, and we'll appoint them at our next meeting because we've got a meeting tomorrow night. We don't have time to start wasting time because this 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 plan has to be complete by the end of December and that's not going to that only gives us about six and a half months or seven months to do everything There's a lot of data. Yeah, so we've got to move we've got to yeah we've got to, I'll, we've I'll got to hustle on and it if in as much as there's someone that has interests uh Andrew's a re recent grad of Hampshire College uh uh in uh, what is it architectural studies andrew but you've done some zoning stuff and uh you know we got to get some new blood in here and we appreciate you expressing some interest i mean i'm no spring chicken and uh i only speak for myself so jim tell me again so we still we we can't do an appointment tonight but we can announce they were accepting, yes, accepting yes. interest, right. uh, expressions yes. of interest. I, I was thinking about this, and I asked the town clerk today, I was in there for something else, and I said, she said, well, probably the way the selectmen do it is when they form a committee and they're looking for 
to say, members of the general public, they'll announce at their meeting, don't have to do any real advertising, just announce at the meeting that they're looking for interested parties, get a email or letter to the planning board. And at our next meeting, which is in two weeks, we can choose a, choose a person. There's a, isn't there a meeting tomorrow night of the uh, housing committee? Yes. But yeah. Andrew and, could appear and, there. And, not and as anybody can, member. Andrew is free to, in fact, I would encourage sure. Andrew to attend yeah. tomorrow night. You, you meeting on election day, Jimmy? Pardon? You meeting on election day? Tomorrow's not election day. No, no, you said in two weeks. Yes, we are meeting yeah, on election the, day. The planning board is meeting in two weeks, but we can make an appointment. We're not, a, we can't hold a public hearing. Okay. Because we're going to make the vote tonight to change everything. And that's mm -hmm. the point of the member. I'm not aware that that's a violation, right, Bill? Yeah. For for what election day? Yeah. No, no, that would not be a problem. The only thing we can't do is uh, hold a public hearing on a variance or a uh, special permit. Okay. Okay. So, is what's the opinion of the committee on just getting somebody a gift from the general public to be a member of this of the housing production plan? That okay? I think, I think it's it's fine. We're we're the appointing authority, so right. I know. I just I want to make yep. a motion to formally change our vote. That's all. Yep. Um, so I'll make a motion to uh, solicit one additional community member and proceed with only one planning board member. Second. Okay. Motion to second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Very good. And at 647, we can hold a public hearing. So, Andrew, get to get a, a, just a brief e email to the had, planning at hadleyma.org that you're interested in being on that committee. Very good. This is your beginning of public service, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> for good. showing in. Thank you. Don't scare off, Mike. Right? <laughs> Your father would be proud of you. 25 years ago, somebody called me and said, would you run for Hampshire County Commissioner? And I've been involved with the town stuff every, every year. And that person was Linda Sanderson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll open our public hearing for the zoning articles by reading the notice as it appeared in the Gazette. The Hadley Planning Board will conduct a Zoom public hearing on Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022, beginning at 6.45 p.m. Purpose of the hearing is to review the following proposed amendments to Hadley's own bylaw. One, amend section seven by adding a new section 7.10 regarding building inspector allowing permit signs on public property. Um, number two amendment, amend sections 1B and 28, and that is to allow energy storage systems um, as a standalone. And section amendment number three is to amend section six to clarify the special permit process and specify ZBA and planning board criteria for issuance and various requirements of each. The complete proposed text and amendments of the bylaw and map are available upon request by planning at HIMA or going to the town uh, clerk during normal business hours. Published twice in the Gazette, April, April 18, <clears throat> excuse me, and 25th. And the first one is uh, to amend section seven. And that would basically allow the building inspector to permit signs on public property and to remove them when they're not in compliance or they shouldn't be there. Right, right now, he removes them but this just formally gives some authority to do it by putting it into the bylaw and it allows them to put, to allow them where it's re, what's reasonable. So the current bylaw specifies no uh, private signs on public ways. Uh, the select board has from time to time allowed charities and various other organizations to erect a sign Right. Although it's not specifically authorized in the bylaw. So this creates a, 
the the uh, the window for the select board to be able to approve such signs without there being a zoning violation. Right. And it is um, town council raised a question of uh, First Amendment. And there was recently some uh, case out of Boston where the city got its wrist slapped for refusing to hoist a uh, Christian flag, despite the fact that they had hoisted uh, 275 other flags. Um, yeah. But the zoning article is content neutral. It does say at the top that at the, the select board will set whatever criteria they want to approve the sign. And the building inspector is given a role after that happens. He has no, he has no say in what is uh, authorized. Just uh, once it is authorized, uh, he gets involved to make sure that it is structurally sound. And as Jim said, it also explicitly gives him authority to remove signs that are not authorized, such as all of those uh, going out of business sale signs that tend to pop up every so often. And uh, I don't know if you remember a couple of years ago, every, uh, every uh, telephone pole on Route 47 had uh, uh, become an EMT uh, yeah. course advertisement. Yeah. And you, and you see all these signs of we pay cash for houses, we buy houses, we buy junk cars. This simply gives him formal authority to remove all of those anyway. I mean, he does now, but at least it's just puts it in writing. So. How does that deal with for sale signs on houses at the end of the street? That, that's a bit of a gray area. I mean, if that's, I doubt that's going to be prohibited, just like uh, political signs are going to, you, you cannot prohibit political signs. That's against, that's First Amendment. So, yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's an interesting one, Joe. I mean, that's up to the building inspector to, to, to uh, address. You know, typically for sale signs at the end of a street, Street are up for a long period of time. They're up for we you know, right now with the housing market. Sometimes they're only up there for a couple of days. So, but uh, that'll be up, that'll be up to the building inspector to decide if he wants to address that. Speaking of of, of those signs, though, I think it's about time for a, a certain uh, sign to come down on Route Forty Seven opposite. Uh, uh, Cummins Road. That's I don't think there are any houses to left to yeah. sell. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's there's one or two more, Bill. Anyways, um, any other comments on the first amendments in min section seven? Oh, I'll, I'll make a motion to recommend adoption. Second. 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 Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Um, the next one is on amending the, the energy storage to allow the batteries. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you on this one. I'm not crazy about the wording on this article. I think it could be a lot better. Even though I drew it up, I think that after reading it and looking at it a few times, I think it could be worded much better. Is that something we could amend after it's voted it, on? Or? It, you try, the planning board typically has been against amending articles on town meeting floor because it has made very complex disasters in the past. People start asking questions. It, it, it's, right. Unless you're changing a word or something, but we're not talking a word here. We're talking a lot of words. And you know, we, if we wanted to amend it in the future, it has to come back to town meeting. Oh yeah, yes, we we could we could just depending on our vote here, we could just make a motion to pass over that part that article. Yeah, uh, you know, we kind of rushed through this. In, we we thought we were under some type of pressure when we really weren't. Town right. council, as Bill's mentioned, has given us an opinion as to our current bylaw. And it doesn't allow it if you're not associated with a solar field. I think we should think about this a little more. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in favor of passing over the one on the energy storage. 
Is that something that PVPC could help us work on that? Probably. I think we could ask Ken for some advice on that. At least if you get some other some other towns have similar right. um, bylaws, and we could take a look at a couple and see what they say. I think on this, you really got to get some direction from the, the, the state because this apparently is part of their whole electricity program. And this is just piecemeal here and piecemeal there. There has to be some consistency, don't you think? Yeah, I don't know. Usually they do come out with some direction, Mike, and uh, some uh, kind of a footprint for what we could utilize, but uh, they have not. And uh, I, would, I would be in favor of passing over, and I would be in favor of giving uh, our chairman the – who's the guy that wandered through the – with a lamp, Diogenes that had the lamp looking for an honest man. Well, geez, we found one left tonight. He admitted. Yep. <laughs> Clearly never came from town. He was not, he was not right. It, 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 it does, I mean, reading over it and looking at other article, other, the rest of the zone, it just, it just doesn't flow right. I'll no. be honest. Okay. Okay. Do you need a motion? Yes, we should. I'll make a motion to pass record to recommend passing over the energy storage article. I would second move. And any other discussion? Mike seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 I opposed? think Tom Corbett's in favor. Well, that's any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Um, the next one is the special permit section. I know Bill put a lot of effort into this one, making it clearer and making some words. So I'll let B Bill speak to it a little bit. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It just uh, provides a structure, and, and much of it is a paraphrase of state law anyway. It's just that we haven't had that in our bylaw. So um, more clarity, a uh, little cleaner explanation of what you have to do to get a special permit. And um, so, um, you know, just, just filling in something that wasn't there. Okay, yeah. Any other comments on that one? No, oh, move approval. If not, okay, we got a motion and a second. I would, second. I would, a second. I would make a motion to adopt it. To uh, we're recommending it, right? To yes. recommend. Yeah. Yeah, I think Joe already made the motion, so yeah. I'll put you down as second. So I'll second. Yeah. Okay. okay. Motion a second. Any all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Okay, can I ask a couple of questions regarding town meeting in these articles, please? Sure. Um, so Article 23, I will just ask you, Jimmy, to, to, say, to say the planning board wants to pass it over. We'll get through that. Uh, the Article 24 is the signs. Are you going to speak to that, Jimmy? Yes. Okay, and then the, the special permit article, are you going to speak to that, Bill? Uh, yes. Okay, then what I'm going to do is once we get these articles uh, started, I'm going to ask for of reading the complete article so that everybody, yeah. and then you yeah, guys can just give a synopsis. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Do you need All a right, from us or from the, from the whole, from the whole um, town meeting? Andrew? Well, I'm going to ask the whole town meeting. Okay. I'm sure they won't have a problem with it. I doubt it. No. <laughs> if they do, then I'm leaving. <laughs> Okay. All right. That's all I need for that right now. Thank you. If I have any other okay. questions, I'll hit you up Thursday. So I think we, sh uh, Randy, we should have uh, Jim on both articles. Jim will specifically say the planning board recommends. Yes. 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 So um, turn to him first and then I'll do an explanation of it. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. You good, Randy? Yes, I am. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we do have a uh, invoice to pay for the Gazette 
for the Jan no June June seventh public hearing for Sikowski's uh, um, solar panels and for the change of fees to the planning board, and that invoice is for four hundred seventy four dollars and four cents. Motion to approve. I'll make that motion. Second. Do we have a second? Any other discussion? If not, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Also, excuse me, as a reminder, um, our pay stubs for the first quarter are in the town hall mailbox if you haven't already picked it up. And there is a Legion parade that is in with the uh, information. And the Legion parade is on Sunday, 5 March. Yeah, March. May 29th at 2 p.m. at the Legion, if anybody's interested in attending and marching. Sunday, the day before Memorial Day. Okay. Um, Bill? <laughs> I, I don't have a comment. I accidentally took your pay stub and opened it before I even realized it I, when I opened it. So I put it in an envelope with all the information um, that was also submitted with it. I just, it's, in, it's in the town hall mail slot. Okay. Sorry about that. No problem. <laughs> it's all public record anyway. <laughs> yes, yes, not like it's a... Not like we now, don't either, our big pay what each one makes. Now Remember, this, is a, this is a big bucks position we hold here. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see you on, <laughs> on, on the highest paid state, you know. <laughs> but you looked, huh? Yeah. I was figuring it out the other day <laughs> that, let's see, 39 times 600, <sighs> even though I haven't made it for the whole time. 39. I have been on a planning board for as long as I've been on it, which is 39 years. And in those, that 39 years, I have made a grand total of $23,000. Ooh. Now, <laughs> yeah, big bucks. <laughs> have, have you added in, uh, inflation on that? <laughs> no, that, that's my actual pay. <laughs> so... Well, I actually, I actually pay eighty dollars a year to be on this committee because the state ethics attorney told me I had to buy a separate phone if I was going to be on this committee because my primary phone is provided by the state. <laughs> oh, really? So how did that happen? So talk talk about giving blood for. <laughs> well, uh, well, while we're at it. Uh... Obviously, as a solo practitioner, I set up my own pension plan and, that, and for my staff as well. However, as you will notice on our pay stub, there is a, uh, a deduction for the state pension plan. You're not allowed to have two conflicting plans. So the IRS uh, uh, called me, and, and but there is a special exemption, evidently, uh, for public service. And the other one was a school teacher in Hadley, too. So, so does that mean Sorry. we can't collect Social Security and the town thing, Joe? I, they, they ask me every year if I'm, I'm still an active member of the board, and I have to respond, yes. Okay. Tell you, the uh, Hampshire Council of Governments, it was lucrative. I mean, we weren't making thousands of dollars, but, you know, I... I've got a hundred shares of McDonald's stock that I managed to buy with what I had in their uh, Obra plan or whatever it was called. But they, some of these people were making uh, seven, eight hundred dollars a quarter that had committee committee uh, titles. But you know that's that's old news. It's no longer around. I don't. Know. What's our <laughs> uh, two dollars and ninety eight cents a quarter? Something like that. Well, clearly, that's why we're all in it for the bucks. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I Enough. pay 480 a year for the phone, and I get paid 400 so. Okay. 
Yeah. Well, I think you can deduct the phone against that. <laughs> you, you can deduct it. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, you know, deduct it against your income. That's, that's a business expense. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Of course it yeah. is. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway. Um, do you have anything else, Mr. Dwyer? I do not. Um, I've yeah. had a few calls from people who may be bringing things forward, but uh, nothing, nothing really here now. Okay. Well, the the best information we got tonight is that uh, you can go through Popeye's drive-through. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> well, the electric bike, the electric bike store that Diane Kirby thing is supposed to have grand opening on Saturday. There's mm -hmm. a sign out there in the yard I saw today. I saw the purple paint. So if anybody's interested in electric bicycles, there you go. Ride your electric bike through the Popeyes uh, drive. That's through. right. Get a bike and drive ride over to Popeyes and get a get a some chicken. There you go, or vice versa. Um, so, I have nothing. Anybody else have anything? I just a town reminder meeting on Thursday. Reminder: town meeting on Thursday at what, seven o'clock, Randy. Seven o'clock at Hopkins. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is at Hopkins in the gymnasium. Okay. And we're setting it up so that hopefully we can be as. Uh, COVID conscious as possible. Uh, I'm recommending people wear masks, but there's no mandate. So it's up to you, but uh, I would prefer it. Uh, there's two air handlers in that building, in that room that I wasn't aware of, one in each diagonal corner and they each suck air opposite of each other. So I think we're gonna have very good air circulation in there. Okay. The only thing I would, I would ask that for the people that are speaking to take their masks off, because sometimes when people are speaking, them the, the words come out. If they're not crystal clear, they come out muffled. Gotcha. But good idea. I recommend masks is a good idea. And uh, our next uh, meeting will be on Tuesday the 17th, which is also the Hadley election day. So we certainly encourage everyone to get out for that. And uh, the only thing I have down for our meeting will be Ken Comia from Pioneer Valley Planning Commission. So on the 17th, get out and vote for your candidate of choice. There are several contests on the, min on the uh, uh, Wait. ballot and vote as you see fit. Uh, and then and go to the planning board meeting. Hmm? And then go to the planning board. And then meeting. go to the planning board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that will actually be uh, that will be an interesting one. I I I, uh, I think I will have to. Well, we won't be taking any votes. So, uh, but if anybody comes in for any business, I guess I would have to abstain because my term runs to the next election, <laughs> but my next term would not start until I was sworn in. I wouldn't think so. Assuming we vote you in. Well, we can't. We'll, yeah, <laughs> you know, and except for general information, and what we can, we can still pass general information article. We don't have any public hearings, so you're all set. Yep, should be fine. Yeah. Um, Who's going to take notes though? Oh, I might, I might do that twisted, anyway. We'll twist his, he can, his arm can be pro twisted. bono. Yeah, he'll Andrew, donate. If you're interested time. in writing up minutes out? of our meetings, uh, <laughs> be great experience. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Oldman, do you have Don't anything? scare him off, Mike. All right, move. We adjourn, Jim. I just, wait a minute. I just want to find out if Tom has any questions. Oh. No. Just Good. All right. It out. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Motion to adjourn. We have a second. Right. We have a motion second. and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting is history. Thank you. Thank you, John. And thank you, Randy. Okay, see you Thursday night, guys. Yeah. Good night.